What's up, guys? I'm Tyler. I do eBay and online reselling. Uh, I'm pretty new to this. I just started last year, and I'm going to show y'all how many things I sell every three days. This is the first receipt. As you can see, it's only three things, and this is the second. Yep. It's about 30 to 40 things. We do a uh, all ebay right now a little bit of facebook marketplace local pickup but no no macari anything like that it's all straight ebay we're gonna make this youtube just to like teach and let people learn me and my wife are full-time resellers so we love doing what we do we go to thrift stores yard sales estate sales we do everything so hopefully you guys enjoy it and take you along for the ride because we don't know where it's gonna go so we're looking to buy a warehouse and everything. We do all our sales out of a, I think it's a 12 by 28 shed. It's got two lofts in it. We sell mostly uh, vintage stuff, uh, video games, everything. So y'all just sit back and watch. I might be able to take y'all to a thrift store today. I don't know. We're from local Kentucky, real rural. So it's a really rural town. Not a lot of stuff. So we'll see what happens today. And as you can see, it's it's raining like crazy. So, we'll see. Hopefully y'all enjoy. We got three packages going UPS ground today. We got one there. One, two. We got one, two, and three. That was just some of the wildest stuff I've ever seen in my life this woman looks like she's got cookie dough on her hood of her car you see that pretty wild looking ain't it hang on looks like the cookie dough cookies on the top of her car i'm not sure what's going on there but i'm gonna say it probably ain't very good that's just a uh, part of living in a rural town with some crazy, crazy people. All right, where we're gonna go now is like this little uh, donation type thrift store. Um, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, it's like a uh, giving back thrift store, I guess. It's not really like a high profit thrift store for the community. We're gonna go check it out and see what we can find. They usually have some good clothes, uh, shoes, boots. They never have video games, anything like that. Just never have it. Um, it's really, really rare to find. I found a Wii once in there, and that was it. But it was like eight bucks for the whole console and two games. It's just really, really rare to find uh, any video games at all in there. But what we do find in there is a whole lot of uh, old cooking ware, like corning ware, uh, vision corning, um, just everything really that's anything old. I mean, they usually have it. So we'll check it out and see what we can find. And if I find anything, I guess I'll video. If I don't, then there won't be, this won't be in the video. And that was a bust. There wasn't nothing in there. I picked up a rotisserie uh, chicken barbecue thing, but I went to test it, plugged it in, and it just kept blinking, and they wanted $20 for it. And I think I could have made about $200 off of it. It was a Showtime rotisserie, and I usually pick up bigger stuff, but the comps were really good on it, so I didn't get it. I probably should have, because I knew I could sell the uh, turning things, the skewers, for... 30 bucks see so i didn't i didn't know i didn't really want to mess with it either you could sell the, the actual gear part for 20 bucks so that'd be our money back there
comps are just kind of all over the place. There's one right here for $220, $30 it sold. It's kind of, I don't know. It's only free shipping and everything. I think it's pretty heavy, so it probably costs about 20 or 30 bucks to ship out UPS ground. And I just don't want to mess with it, so we're going to go over here to Goodwill and see what we can find. But this is the thrift store. As you can see, it just, it's not much. Yeah, so I guess we're going to get on the road and see if we can find anything else. And if we can't, go home and maybe talk about what we sewed the last couple of days. We sewed like 30 or 40 things. I don't know. I'll get something going for y'all since it's my first video and I barely know how to use this GoPro. <laughs> so we'll figure it out. This is the GoPro 9 Hero. I just bought it. So we'll see. I got this big tripod to go with it. So I don't really need that big of a tripod, but I need a really, I need a small one that I can just hold around in stores and stuff. I didn't film in there. There was like 30 people in that store and it's so crowded. And just kind of, it's weird, you know. So, we'll see what we can find. We might go to Peller's Mall or... We got like an antique mall over here, but... I don't really want to go in. It's too... It's so hard to find stuff in there to resell because people are renting the booths out and they got to make a certain amount of money, profit off of it. So, we'll go try Goodwill. Let's go in here and see what we can find. Probably ain't going to find much. But you never know. As you can see. Alright, we went in Goodwill and we didn't find nothing besides a couple shirts. I got two for myself. Uh, literally, a plain black single stitch through the loom. That's all it is. Single stitch. These are the shirts y'all need to look out for. See how it's only got one stitch? And then this one has uh, two stitches. You see that? Yeah, you need to look out for the ones with one stitch. That's called a single stitch t-shirt. Vintage, 90s. It's from the 90s and uh, people will pay like $15 a shirt. I paid a dollar for it, so I'll make my $14 profit off of it. And that's about it. I found a vintage Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It's not a single stitch, but it's a plain old Tommy Hilfiger shirt. See, it's got the double stitch, so it's not much, but I never find anything like that in my size. It's 2XL, so if it fits me, I'll wear it. If not, I'll make 20 bucks off of it, probably. 15 to 20 bucks, I don't know. So, turn $2 into 40 bucks, I'd be pretty happy about it, so it's whatever. Uh, here living in a rural town, we don't have much to find, especially during a weekday. On the weekends, I usually put more out, and then sometimes me and my wife go to another town and go thrifting and stuff and find more because it's a bigger town. Larger capacity means more uh, stuff to thrift and more places to thrift at better prices, so my wife likes to do the clothes. I don't like doing the clothes, but every once in a while you gotta look. If you can't find nothing else, you gotta do what you can find, so.